Tori gates loom large over Japanese society. If you've watched anime or samurai films, traveled to Japan, or really seen any imagery associated with Japan, you've seen a Tori gate. In Japan, you usually find Tori gates at the entrance to Shinto shrines. While I'm not religious, I am a big fan of traditional Japanese aesthetics and art. So when the pandemic hit in early 2020 and I found myself largely stuck at home, I decided that I wanted to erect a Tori gate somewhere on my property. I first researched buying a sort of Tori gate kit with all of the needed pre-cut parts that I could just assemble. But to be honest, I found that kits were either too small or of poor quality. So I decided to build my own. All right, so I got these posts from Tractor Supply Company. Um, they're really splintered. Um, these are pressure treated posts, so they should hold up pretty well to the weather, but obviously they're made for utility. Um, these are fence posts, so these are big corner posts that are used to hold, you know, just fences for livestock. Um, but they've got a lot of knots, they've got a lot of splinters, a lot of cracks. So I've sanded one of these down pretty well, and, and this one's about halfway done. I've got a lot more sanding to go. Then what I'll do is I'll fill in some of these seams, some of these holes uh, with wood putty, let that dry, and then sand it again. Hopefully get a, a smoother, more uniform finish here. And then prime it and paint it. And uh, you know, we'll do the traditional bright red. Hopefully it turns out looking okay. Um, these things are not super straight. So, you know, we'll do our best at getting them level and just see what happens. The new key, or crossbar, is slotted through the two posts of the Tory gate, with several inches sticking out on either side. A hole must be cut straight through the center of each post based on the dimensions of your new key. Using a pencil, I traced the outline of the end of the 2x4 used for my crossbar and then chiseled the outline until I had the right shape. This was slow work, and eventually, the heart of the post had to be drilled out in order to punch through completely. After getting the slots cut in both posts, it was time to smooth the posts out as best I could. I filled as many cracks and rough spots in as I could, and after allowing it to dry for a few days in the garage, I sanded it to remove excess wood putty before adding the first coat of primer and sealant. Yes, you do. Yeah. I never want to stop. No, you don't. Okay, at this point the pieces are kind of rough cut, um, 
but you can see the shape of the Tory gate top taking taking shape here these ends will need to be sanded down a little bit you can see they're not even um, that's okay though because they'll sand down nice and smooth and rounded um, and it should come out right about right um, when all is said and done we've got the center position marked off um, for the little center post here I can't remember what it's called but overall uh, it's starting to starting to take shape starting to kind of look like a Tory gate The Kasagi forms the topmost part of the Tori gate. The style I decided to build, a Myojin, features a distinctive curvature, and I wasn't really sure how I was going to pull that off. In my first attempt, I tried to chisel it by hand. It quickly became apparent that this would be too labor-intensive, and in any case, I would likely do a poor job and ruin the Kasagi. Seemingly simple tasks, like shaping a straight board into one with a curve, really make you appreciate the skill it must take to build these completely by hand. Okay, so what I've tried to do here for the Kasagi, and <laughs> we'll see how it goes, is I've used a, a fish stick. For those of you who are familiar with cabling, you'll, you'll know what a fish stick is. It's like this big, long, flexible uh, stick with a hook at the end that you use to hook wires and sort of drag them through. Um, but at any rate, what I've tried to do is use a fish stick to make a, uh, make a like curvature in the Kasagi, which is the topmost piece of the Tori gate. And I'm gonna try now to cut this out with a jigsaw and we'll see how it goes. Well, that's just about the halfway point, and it is vibrating the shit out of my hand. It's just, there are, there are some knots in here, some tough parts, and it's just hard for the, uh, for the saw to get through. So I just have to take a break every once in a while and let my body stop vibrating. All right, I think it looks good enough to start sanding. Joining the Kasagi and Shimaki was challenging because the timber used to make the Kasagi had become warped. I used ratchet clamps to hold the Kasagi straight along the center of the Shimaki while I attached the two pieces with wood screws using the pilot holes I'd previously drilled. I continually measured to make sure the Kasagi was as centered as possible, and I think it turned out pretty good. After attaching the two pieces, I filled the screw holes with wood putty, let it dry, and primed the assembled pieces. Okay, so the Tory gate is sort of up. Um, my la landscaping guys were kind enough to actually stand it up. Um, the Kasagi is just sitting on there right now. It's not actually, uh, it's not actually bolted on. We'll get to that part a little later today, probably. Uh, most of it is painted, except for this little part where the vertical, little vertical board will go. Um, but in theory, it looks pretty good. It looks like a Tory gate looks Tory gate like and then what I'll do is put some gravel down here around um, I'll probably cement these in at some point right now they're just in the ground this one's about four inches and then this one's about 10 inches uh, so it really doesn't have a whole lot of clearance it's fine for me because I'm a short guy 
uh, my whole family's short, so we'll be able to walk under it. Um, but a little gravel for ground cover will make this look really nice. Um, and yeah, once it's painted red, I think it's gonna look really good. I think it's gonna look super cool. So yeah, in theory, we have a Tory gate. Overall, I'm super happy with how the Tory Gate turned out. The project took me over a year to complete because I never really had a plan for finishing it. I also ran into some problems I had to think through, like how to get the new key through the slots in the posts, hint, rubber mallets and lots of hammering, and how to best join the shimaki to the posts. I just wound up using wood screws. But now that it's up, I think it looks beautiful, and I'm proud of the work I put into building it by hand. Thank you.